From the previous video, we saw that carboxylic acids are among the most acidic organic compounds. Carboxylic acids are more acidic than phenols and much more acidic than alcohols. And this is because the conjugate base of the acid which is the carboxylate ion is resonance stabilized. In other words, more stable the conjugate base is, greater will be the tendency for the acid to undergo dissociation and produce H plus ions. Now when we talk about the substituent effect, any substituent that increases the stability of the conjugate base will increase the acidic character of the acid, correct? More stable the conjugate base is, greater will be the tendency to undergo ionization. And any substituent that decreases the stability of a conjugate base would have a negative effect on the acidic character. Now substituents in general can have two types of effects. One is electron donating and other is electron withdrawing effect. Now what do you think would happen if we had an electron withdrawing group attached to our carbon here? We know that in our carboxylate ion, the negative charge is spread over two oxygen atoms, which is good because it's already a stabilizing factor in itself. But if you have an electron withdrawing group, what is it doing? It is drawing the charge further from this group towards itself and as a result, it is helping in more effective dispersal of the negative charge. And more spread out the charges, greater will be the stabilizing effect. Now, exact opposite effect can be expected when we have an electron donating group, right? An electron donating group, what does it do? It, it adds more electron density to an already electron dense carboxylate ion. So it is not helping it to stabilize, it is actually having a destabilizing effect by adding more charge to it. And this is why an electron withdrawing group increases the stability of our conjugate base and thereby increases the acidic character of our acid. On the other hand, an electron donating group decreases the stability of our conjugate base and thereby decreases the acidic character of our acid. So let's look at an example to see how pronounced the effect of electron withdrawing group is on the acidic character of an acid. So here we have three substituted acetic acid. In the first case, we have one electron withdrawing chlorine atom. In the second case, we have two electron withdrawing chlorine atoms. And in the third case, all the alpha hydrogens have been replaced by chlorine atoms. And look at the pK values. We can see that as the number of electron withdrawing chlorine atom increases, the acidic strength increases as well. The pK value of monochloroacetic acid is only 2.86 whereas the pK value of trichloroacetic acid is 0.64 making it a very strong acid. And this is because the electronegative chlorine atom stabilizes the conjugate base which is COO- minus here. And the chlorine atom stabilizes the acetate ion by drawing electron density away from it through minus I effect, through inductive effect. Halogens as we know is a minus I group, right? So more the number of chlorine atoms, greater will be the charge dispersal and greater will be the stability of the conjugate base. Now the substituent effect also depends on proximity. How close is our electron withdrawing or electron donating group to the carboxylate group? For example, look at the pK values of these acids here. Now, if we are talking about the conjugate base, so let me remove these hydrogen atoms here and just make the conjugate base. In the first case, we have the electronegative chlorine atom attached to the alpha, beta, gamma carbon atom. So, there is a considerable distance between the chlorine atom and our carboxylate group, right? And because of this, the chlorine atom is not able to effectively draw electron density away from the ring and we can see that more or less the effect is not very dominant here. So the pK values are on 4.52. In the second case, we have chlorine atom attached to the beta carbon atom and this closer proximity to the carboxylate ion translates to a decrease in the pK value. So this acid is obviously more acidic than the first one. Look at the last one. Here we have chlorine atom attached to the alpha carbon atom. It is very close to a carboxylate group and can effectively draw electron density away from it and stabilize the ion. And as a result, the pKa value of this acid is 2.86, making it substantially more acidic than the other acids here. So from here we can see that the proximity of our substituents has a very important effect on the acidity of our acids. So to briefly summarize what we learned so far, we can see that electron donating group destabilizes the carboxylate ion and thereby decreases the acidic character of our carboxylic acids. On the contrary, electron withdrawing group draws electron density away from the carboxylate ion 
and stabilizes the conjugate base and this results in an increase in the acidic character of our acids.